Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltech's Q&A, where you ask the questions and we give you all the answers. Our first question today comes from Sol, and he says, I was looking to convert my small block Chevy to EFI and want to know the difference in running my injectors in my throttle body as opposed to in the intake manifold runners. Well, Sol, thanks for your question. It's a really good one. And there's a few factors that we need to consider when we decide on how we're going to set up our injectors in our aftermarket fuel injection system. The first thing to look at is the period or the style of the car that you're going for. In some cases, you don't want to have the eight injectors down the bottom where you'd prefer to have your carburetor replacement style injection hat with your four injectors at the top. And that's certainly acceptable. That's known as throttle body injection or TBI. Sequential injection is when you've got your eight injectors lower in the intake manifold so that each injector sprays down an intake port directly on the back of an inlet valve. Personally, sequential injection is my favorite because it gives us the best throttle response, the best fuel economy, as well as the best atomization because that fuel is spraying directly into the air intake stream. If you put the injectors behind the throttle body, when those injectors spray, they're gonna be heavily dependent on the design of the intake manifold. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing which system to use. Our second question today comes from Fabi, and he says, I'm building an Audi inline five cylinder with drive-by wire. Can the Elite 1500 run a wasted spark, wasted injection on this setup? Fabi, unfortunately, the answer is no. Because you've got a five cylinder engine, you can't waste spark it because you don't actually have equal pairs of cylinders, like a six cylinder, for example. On a six cylinder engine, you can waste spark because you've always got two pistons at top dead center together. On a five cylinder engine, you never actually get this. So the only way to do it is with an Elite 2500 series ECU doing direct fire ignition, firing each coil individually, as well as sequential injection. And our last question today comes from Stuart. Stuart's got a 1995 Toyota Land Cruiser with the 1FZ FE engine. It's got a combination of petrol and LPG and he wants to improve its fuel consumption. What ECU would you recommend? Stuart, we've just released the Haltech Elite 750 Series ECU, which sounds like it's exactly what you're after. It offers direct fire ignition, wasted spark or distributor style ignition. So it doesn't matter what ignition system you've got on your one FZ, it'll do all of them. Likewise, it'll control your six injectors sequentially, as well as allowing you to turn those injectors on or off, depending if you're on LPG or petrol. When you're turning those injectors off, we can also do an ignition trim to make the most of that gas. So we can tune the engine for the gas, we can also tune the engine for petrol. This will give you the best economy and best power out of the LPG, as well as out of the petrol. Well, that's all the questions we've got today. As always, thanks so much for taking the time to write in and ask your questions. If you've got one that you want answered in one of the upcoming episodes, don't forget to leave it in the comments below. My name's Scott, and thanks very much for watching.